Hi folks, this is Dr. Don. I want to spend a few minutes doing a walkthrough of the Lab 1 Quick Start and also your uh, remix on that. Now I'm just going to use the Lab 01 student name.rmd file, which you get over here in your files window. And all you got to do is just click on it to open it up. And this opens up, this is called a source window or uh, the editor window. Uh, and we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more. First thing you want to do though is to change the name. This is called the YAML up here at the top, the Y-A-M-L. Don't worry about what it stands for. You want to be very careful up here and make changes. We want to change the student name to put your name and put the uh, current date in there. And then uh, you can save it to get your name in there. The other thing you want to do is to change the name of the file. That will help a little bit. And go down here in the files menu, click on the student name, and then find the rename. And what you would do is to put your cursor there, backspace, and I'm just going to put my initials DEW. So I would know that, but you would put your first name and last name there. And so now you can see we renamed that file, and that's the uh, remix file that you'll be submitting. Scroll on down here. It's got some uh, code chunks you need to worry about. This is for the actual knitting. That's the code that controls that. And as we scroll down, you see the first thing is loading the library. I want to speak just a minute. The newer versions of R Studio IDE, and remember that Posit Cloud is just R Studio IDE in the cloud so that you don't have to load it on your local computer. Uh, but it's the same, it's called the R Studio IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. And it's really just a way of making it a little bit easier to navigate the R code. Down here in this window, this is the console, and this is where the R code really runs. And you can see we can do a lot of things in our Studio IDE to make it a little bit easier to understand what's going on down here. And that's the reason we want you to use the R Studio, now also called Posit Cloud. First thing we want to do is to load the packages. And uh, quite often when you're loading packages into the library, you'll get a lot of warnings and messages that, that will um, maybe distract you a bit. What we really care about is known as errors. And so I've added this little message there, uh, code there, to suppress the warnings, suppress the messages, so it would make it a little bit cleaner when you run it. Errors would still show up, and you want to pay attention to those. Okay. And we've got these five packages. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on those. Tidyverse is the main one that controls, makes it easier for us to manipulate data and do things in a logical way. And then we've got the UN Votes, which is the library that has the data that we're going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and run that code, use a little green triangle there to run that code block. And the next thing we're doing uh, here is to join these um, three data frames together. In order to make it a little bit easier to see, I've added in a code chunk here, and uh, this is a comment after the pound sign. I'm going to inspect the three tables, the UN votes table, the UN roll calls table, and the UN roll call issues table. And to do that, I'm going to create some temporary data objects or data files or data frames we call uh, just by using their names. And this is the assignment operator there, a less than with a dash. So it says assign UN votes to a data object known as UN votes, and they will show up over here in the environment. So I'm going to click that green arrow, run the current chunk, run those chunks, and you can see now we've got these three data frames, data objects created over here in the environment. And you can see it gives you a summary there. The UN votes has roughly 870,000 observations. Observations are the rows 
four variables, those are the columns. UN roll calls has 6,200 observations of, the, of nine variables, and UN roll call issues has 5,745 rows or observations of just three variables. And we want to pull these together into one table. But let's look at them a little bit. The UN votes, if I click on the little blue triangle there in the blue circle, you can expand it. You can see it lists the four variables we have there and it what type of variable they are and starts printing those out. You could actually scroll to the end and you can see all those. Another way of seeing what this looks like, I'm going to double click on the name you in votes and it opens up over here in the window. Now you can see a little bit more clearly. We've got the RCID number, which stands for roll call ID number, the country, country code, and what their vote was. So I'm going to look at UN roll call votes. You see now we've got nine. We've got the RCID again. That's a common variable. Which session it was, it was an important vote. Now we've got the date, and we've got some uh, descriptions uh, of it. And again, if we look at the issues, it's only got three variables, the RCID again short name for the issue and the long name for the issue. We want to put all those together. So I'm going to go back here to my markdown sheet and we're going to run this and we're going to join together and create another data object called UN votes with no dash. So I'm going to do this one at a time so you'll see what's happening. I'm going to go over here and highlight that uh, short of the pipe operator. The pipe operator is that percentage greater than percentage then, which again tells us just and then do the next step. Takes whatever we do here and pipes it into the next step. So I'm going to run that with control enter. And now you'll see that we've added a data object here, 870,000 of just the four variables because all we've got in there is that original table. So now I'm going to do an inner join. Join. Don't worry about inner join, outer join. Those are things for data wranglers. We don't do that in this course. So I'm just going to highlight the first two, stopping short of the pipe operator this time. So I want to merge the UN votes and then inner join UN roll call. So control enter. And we can see over here that UN votes has changed again. Now we've got our same 870,000 rows. But now we've got 12 variables. And then we'll do the same thing again, running all uh, three of these, and we'll end up with UN votes without the underscore having 14 variables. That's all our information merged together. And if we look at UN votes a little more closely, and you can scroll over here and see all 14 variables have been put in there, and the common column that joined by the RCID. So I hope that helps a little bit on this first part and then I'm going to stop here and we will uh, move on to the plotting part in the part two of this uh, debrief walkthrough.